The new Skoda Enyaq IV is the Skoda's firm's first bespoke electric car, and it brings a practical outlook to the EV ownership experience. The Skoda Enyaq is an EV with a great depth of ability. Its ride, refinement and practicality are the key elements here, while onboard tech and solid performance play strong supporting roles. We'd like a little more range and stronger brake regeneration, but dynamically the car is good. We'd add 125 kilowatts charging to boost flexibility too, but at the Enyaq's core is a likable, and even luxurious, refined personality that convincingly catapults Skoda into a new era. With prices from £31,995 including the recently revised £2,500 plug-in car grant, roughly the same as the entry-level Kodiak TDI 7-seater. Refreshingly though, Skoda isn't actually trying to reinvent the wheel with its first bespoke EV. Instead, it feels like it's sticking true to its values with a practical, high-quality, usable EV that delivers decent technology and is relatively affordable. The 0 to 62 miles per hour sprint takes 8.5 seconds, but the benefit is that the Enyaq is supremely relaxing. Performance is still adequate, while accessing the maximum the motor offers is an altogether more refined experience than flat-out acceleration in a petrol or diesel SUV. There's very little motor whine. However, we would like an extra, more aggressive brake regeneration setting to help make one-pedal driving easier. There's an adaptive auto regen function, but even in the strongest B mode you need to anticipate quite a long way in advance. You can adjust the level of regen using the steering wheel paddles, with three settings available. The steering is light, but one benefit of the VW MEB electric car platform the Skoda uses is that, with no engine up front, there's lots of steering lock. The front wheels can turn through quite a wide arc, so for a 4, 7 meters long car, the Enyaq is easy to maneuver. The other benefit the bespoke EV platform brings is that the wheels can be pushed to the extremes of the vehicle's footprint. Combined with no central transmission tunnel in the rear, there's an impressive amount of room inside, while boot space is great, at 585 liters. This overall feeling of airiness inside is helped by the Enyaq's deep dash. It creates a space for a head-up display that projects info on the windscreen and the driver's eye line, such as sat and AV instructions that grow in size as you approach a turn. A pair of screens are standard, a smaller panel ahead of the steering wheel shows basic info with good clarity, while the 13-inch center screen has great graphics and responds very fast. However, the climate control is all touchscreen operated, while the volume control is a touch-sensitive slider. It's not always the easiest to use on the move, but then, steering wheel controls get around this.